Hello and welcome back, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Iridium Corporation Galactic Civilizations 3 campaign. We are traitors! Incoming message from a major civilization. The Thalen Contingency can, comes to you with an opportunity. The Snathi are dangerous and we would appreciate aid in being rid of them. Declare war on them and we will give you the knowledge of weapon systems to aid in your fight. We will declare war on the Snathi or I'm sorry, but we just cannot take on this burden. No, we cannot. We are not fighters, we're traitors. Besides, we're about to trade with the Snathi. Why would I want to attack them? All right, he is trying to go for this. If I go one, two, three, four, we are out of range of that. And I don't think there's going to be another ship there. Let's go to here first. It's going to take two turns anyway. Let's just make sure we're a little bit further away from these guys. Do what we can to avoid getting sniped. That is a artifact. Treasury plus 100, cool. Let's head that way now, too. On a class 6, barely habitable world. At what? what? Oh, okay. I was going to say. Where'd this one come from? No, I've already got that one planned. Alright, and here we go! Wait, what? Ah, shoot. <laughs> Never mind. We're able to do it right now. I was wrong. Okay, the last has finished all of its manufactories already. I should cycle through the planets. I haven't done that in a while. We got 25 manufacturing per turn right now. Uh, and these things only cost a little bit. Looks like we do have accrued 11 manufacturing points. So those will get roped into the next thing that we do. No Durantium to build a Durantium refinery here. Um... In this case, I mean, if we build this, we end up with five, six, seven, eight, nine adjacency bonuses. That's going to be nine times five percent. That's a ton. A ton. I mean, that's 45 percent extra base manufacturing multiplier. So even though we don't have access to the Durantium, I think we will build this here and add two more and then we'll start knocking out a shipyard. Maybe we can make some more trade routes from that town. That town? What? City? You know what I meant. There is the uh, the seed ship going home. It's probably because he either doesn't know about this planet, which I don't know if I believe, or he is uh, unable to reach it. It's out of range. But most of the ships that they design are usually going to have really long range. Efficient manufacturing is uh, coming along. We don't really have great research. 3-7 per turn. How do we compare? They are willing to speak to you. Oh, that is super handy. I didn't know that was there. That is so cool. So this is for which type of trade? Okay, so if I go to the other guys, it's going to be different? Nice! Oh, that is so handy. I'm going to stand that one all the time now. Torians, uh, let's see. Can we ask you for financial aid? Not for 15 turns. Let's see. How much do you want for that, uh, that customer? No, the accelerated growth tech. 448. We'll take it. Sounds great. More growth. I like it. Um, now Terrans. We can ask for money in six weeks. You have almost none technology. You have customer approval, which um, I do want. Of course, you went optimized manufacturing as well. I sure hope somebody goes something other than that. Uh, let's see. You don't have a lot of money. I could try to broker tech, right? I could sell... Maybe I should sell enhanced expanded trade. I mean, by doing that, I end up just getting more trade, right? Not to mention, trade route value increasing by 10% is good for me. Right, how could this possibly hurt me if I give them more trade route value? I suppose technically, if they do more trade routes than I do, they would benefit from it. They'd make more money, but I, I'm not, they're not going to have more trade routes than I am. Let's hold off for right the second, though. It'd be nice if this thing could uh, only show the ones that you are able to trade with. But anyway, graphs. I wanted to see, like... Economic power. That is that is not me, is it? Or is it? That is me. Yay! Our economic power looks good. Population seems to be fine. Uh, these numbers all seem fine. I guess you gotta just memorize the colors. I don't know. And I was gonna cycle through my planets. So you're doing economic stimulus. You've got some research labs to upgrade. Uh, I'm not really particularly interested in having you do that. There's no focus. If we do this, we take a penalty. So yeah, we just leave it as it is. 
You're making some wealth. Economic stimulus. Is there a better project for us available? Influence growth? Probably not. Economic stimulus, I think, makes the most sense. Can I, uh, shoot, which planet was that? That was Valus. Alright, I wanted to check the overall government thing. Economy. I like being here. I think it's working out for me pretty well. You can go a little bit harder in that direction if we're getting too much production to the shipyard. But it's exactly at 50.9, which is a good number. So yeah, I think we just keep Valis as is. Next. But you working on Xeno factories. So you're actually upgrading factories right now. That is not what I want at all. Do not upgrade until planet is full. Do not auto-upgrade improvements. Like, why are you making these then? Planet is clearly not full. Oh, I should rename planets to, to try to have a system. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. So, R for research, M for manufacturing, W for wealth. Um, there's not really much else, is there? Runefang is close to the population cap. We're infertile, which is normal. We need more food here. Like, yeah, why make manufacturers when we need more food? No good tiles available for it. Plus to research, plus to tourism influence. Okay, I want to see where Runefang is on the map. It's far away from our current shipyard. It's... Not really particularly good at anything, is it? Hmm. Well, considering I've already done some manufacturing here, we've already got a grand total of like 100% increased manufacturing, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try to turn this into a production planet. But do we need that many production plants? I don't think so. We certainly do need food. I'm kind of tempted to just cancel this, but I'm not going to. So Rune Fang, um, I, I, I don't know. I guess we'll make it manufacturing. The last. This is a precursor factory world that I was going to make research, but decided to not make it research. And I think we were going to knock out a, uh, a shipyard adjacent to this one. We got these things getting knocked out like crazy. We're still accruing more manufacturing points every turn, but that's fine. We'll just sink those bonus points into uh, some more Durantium if we end up with it. We should probably try to get another uh, constructor ship so that we can do something about that. So, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to be a production planet. All Star the Third is the breadbasket growth planet. Population cap is 7.5. Food. We're making this is a wealth planet. I remember. Working on a free market adjacent to this thing here. We're still doing manufacturing boosts to try to knock these things out a little bit quicker, but. Uh, might not be a 
bad idea? Ooh, that's one to... Whoa. That's two to influence on this tile. These things would benefit from that as well. Yeah, I still feel like the basic factory is just so... Nice, just to get that extra little bit of, uh... 15% manufacturing. I mean, you need it to upgrade all your tiles. Even without the adjacency bonuses, I think that it's going to be worthwhile. Let's build one. And bump him up a bit. Okay, Merx the first is a precursor research world that's clearly a research planet. Make sure that those were all checked off. Should have been. If I've renamed them, then I know that I've actually checked them out. Should be a global setting, though. Okay, that's all planets taken care of. Feel pretty good about all the cues. And I think we're fine. Okay, ships are squared away. Two ships in our borders. Our borders are actually expanding quite well here. That's nice. We have, I think, another ship coming out next turn. Another freighter. Just check this thing out. We've got, uh... You're, you're taking two turns. That's normal, though. We have no accrued points. Short-haul freighter mark three is... I don't think we need to update that. The thing I'm wondering is, in our starbase here, can we do... Sensor range? No, we don't have any research that's going to give us access to more Durantium. And that's what I need. Sponsor settings. Right, that's for shipyards. Gotcha. Uh, obviously come from Iridia. Let's grab this guy. And, uh, we want to go towards one of the wealthiest planets on the map. And, uh... We're making short-haul freighters with the intention of just starting trade. I don't like that you're so nearby. Our range is not very good with the ship, though. But we can. We, we're able to make it down to the Snathy because of this expansion. Go to Mercs 2. Okay. 25 Pragmatic. Precursor Fabricator Improvement that also boosts production. Military Manufacturing. Or just boosts Manufacturing. I think we want to go Pragmatic still. We have, uh... Population effect, enhanced production, plus one colony. So I guess we got a modifier here. No, now I'm confused. We had a precursor effect that also boosts something. Does it bother you that it's at 39% and 41%? Uh, that bothers me. We need to fix that. Somehow we're at 101% now. That sounds great. Let's do that. Anyway, uh, Mercs the second. Small planet. We got the ep epithame... Whatever that thing's called. So ship range went up a little bit. No adjacent tiles to do anything with this. This is probably just going to be a little, really tiny little research planet that does nothing else. Low gravity increases uh, our social manufacturing and tourist income, though. The free market grants raw influence growth, which is really solid. And that gives us a bigger influence thing. And since we have tourist income plus 25%, I think maybe we'll make this into a tourist planet. Or a, it's a, it's an income planet, but it's it's going to be using these, these free markets, which are better than the market centers. Gross income plus 10 versus gross income plus 10. Same maintenance cost, but we also get the influence growth for the same construction. And it's a double improvement, wealth and influence with adjacency bonuses for both. So it's just better in every way. These are the kind of things that I'd love to be able to just purchase. Population cap is only 6. Our growth rate is 0.2. Okay, do not upgrade, rename planet. Health. Is that 5% ship range helping out a little bit? Where were you headed? Just scouting about, I think. 
regular scout. You are my 17 moved guy. So let's uh, look around this black hole. Evidently can't go any closer. Okay. Keep on moving like two tiles at a time because that's his vision range. We found a capsule. Plus 25% of efficient manufacturing, which gave us efficient manufacturing uh, right there. Excellent. So manufacturing costs minus 15%. What does that do specifically? I actually do know the answer to this. And that is that all improvements, right, instead of costing us 30, it still says 30, but they actually cost less. Um, and an easy way, I think, to calculate or, like, prove that, I think that's the way it works. It might actually be on, on building ships. Not sure. All right, so, like, this planet has uh, 10.2. 15% of 30, 30 times 0.85, brings the cost down to 25.5. Let's find a planet that's got enough production that it can knock one out in two turns. Okay, so that's not good enough. So if it was the full cost, these would be six turns. See how these are still six turns, right? it's 4.7 times 6 turns, or whatever is going to add up to whatever. But for anything that is a manufacturing improvement now, see how that's only 5 turns? We click there, again, the tooltip doesn't update, which is one of my major complaints about this damn game, but uh, it still says manufacturing cost plus 30%, but when you click there, it's only going to take 5 turns because it's actually, the actual cost is 25.5. And so, apparently it's rounding in some way, I don't know. It does work, it's just the tooltip is stupid. Which annoys me. But that that is a very good thing to have. It's a big nebula. Go around it. We have met a major civilization. Uh, let's begin trading soon. These are the... This is the United Earth. Let's speak to them. Let's see if we can come to it with some agreement. You must know them for one turn. Okay, let's, let's talk about... Let's talk next turn. Go away. I'm busy. We are colonizing all over the place. Tourist income. 11 ducats uh, per turn. Is there a way to see, like, who's getting the majority of tourist income? It's based on your overall, like, influence on the, on the, on the, on the world. The universe, rather. Okay. I've got two of these guys that are already on their way. We have this guy who just popped out, and I don't think I've actually sent him anywhere. This is a regular hauling ship that's still on its way to establish this route. We've got you. I thought I sent another one to the south. The ships. We're to ignore this ship. Prospector. Already got a task. As do you. As do you. Yeah, I don't know that I've actually told you to go anywhere. We could do trade routes with our own cities. I think I'd rather trade with, like, Earth's capital. That's Mars. It looks to me like Earth is, like, right in here. It's outside of range, though. You've got uh, 11 production, 5.6, 8.8. Let's trade with Snagley. Snagley, Snaggle, whatever it's called. Something like that. We do need another colony ship if we want to try to snag that one. Terran Alliance have a yellow border. Weird. Almost no matter what, we're taking this one. An ancient Promethean Cleanser. Promethean Cleanser component. Scrap it and see if we can learn how it works. We gained five Promethean. Wow, that's a lot. Or, and 10% range on all ships. Range is pretty crap. And uh, install it on a ship, we can always get more crew. <laughs> more powerful Promethean Cleanser component. So, I'm still going to go pra pragmatic, even though I don't really know... Um, what this Promethean Cleansing component is. Crystallized Illyrium. Shield Strength goes up. Cool. Also got a Haven. Plus two to Approval, plus one to Wealth. 
This planet is small. We need to focus manufacturing for now. Let's uh, govern planet. Do this. I need to decide what we're going to do here. Uh, how are we doing? I want more money. Like, the money is the one thing stopping me from going nuts with trade right now. We don't even need very many ships. So let's just make this a wealth planet. Or a research planet. But wealth is probably better. It's doing a weird thing where you actually have to exit in order to be able to rename it. Which is stupid. It's not like the game's been out forever or anything. Like, you know, you could, you know, maybe fix that bug someday. At some point. Plus two adjacency to military. Okay, let's knock out two fa many factories. And then we'll go for some uh, free markets. An idle colony here now. Good, so it didn't... Uh, didn't actually change anything there. So the new planet was another wealth planet, which was you. I queued up your stuff. I renamed you. Everything's good there. Okay, just want to make sure I've taken care of that. And the idle colony. It's not you or you, it's you. We don't want to upgrade those. Plus two bonuses to research. That's really solid. Oh. So many good bonuses on this planet. Research labs, we can knock out very quickly. Do we want to try to build the uh, the Thulium Data Archive on this planet? I think so. So if we do the Thulium Data Archive, we want to cancel that one. One hundred and fifty. This will give us research plus eight, and then the level two races or research adjacency bonuses will give us another plus two raw research. But yeah, we'll do the Thulium Data Archive probably after these other ones. 1,500 credits to buy out. All right. On a little way to get through this nebula, thank goodness. And inside we found some Illyrium. Hey, we get to choose new ideology. Excellent, that's what I was hoping for. Luxury. Luxury trade routes are not only more profitable, they also increase the influence and approval of the planets they connect. Sweet! Unlock it. We're traders! Okay, so how much do we make now? 22 credits. Trader of value. Uh, did it automatically get upgraded to a uh, luxury trader? It must have. Yeah, type luxury. Sweet. It looks like it doubled the value. Awesome. That is so much money. We're making 60 income per turn now. We haven't even established these other trade routes yet. Let's get this one going. And now we're making... Ah, uh, oh, sweet! Another 23 to the snathy. Awesome. This one? Sweet! Another 24 to the tortoon. That is so sick. So much money. All right, and uh, we can talk to a lot of people. United Earth, we can trade with. Let's do, uh, offer them our open borders. See what, how much money they'll give us 79 ducats for it. Wait a minute, I can, I can trade for optimized manufacturing even though I already have it? I don't remember if I actually, uh, picked my technology. We're working on precision manufacturing right now. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I totally forgot about it, didn't I? Ah, we should look through the tech tree again. You know what? I'm gonna take a break here. How are you letting me ask for this if I already have it? I don't get it. I actually buy it twice and like have something really weird happen there? That'd be kind of strange. I want I want some more Durantium. So, all right, I'm gonna take the time to look through here and find what I'm looking for, and then we'll uh, we'll come back soon. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again in the next episode. See you soon.